Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to remove the action needed prompt when attempting to connect to a Wi Fi network on Windows 10. So, if you're trying to connect to a Wi Fi network, or perhaps you're getting just a little notification down in the bottom right corner of your screen, and it says that action is needed and it might say continue connecting with a question mark and then if you're expected to find an ITS continue connecting with a question mark so if you want to go ahead and just disable this prompt so it might keep prompting you for some reason we're going to go ahead and jump right into that so generally speaking this probably would come across with the network connectivity status indicator so we're going to go ahead and just disable that feature and we're going to start by opening up the start menu Type in reg edit, so R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match should come back a registry editor. You want to go ahead and right click on that and then select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, you want to go select yes. Now before you proceed in the registry, I would highly suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything went wrong, you could easily restore the registry back. In order to create the backup, it's very simple. Just go ahead and left click on the file tab. Select export. For file name, I would recommend naming it the date in which you are making the backup. Save it to convenient location on your computer and export range should be selected to all. And then just select the save button to finalize that save. And then once that is done, you're ready to begin and we're going to expand the HK local machine folder. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the system folder. Do the same thing for current control set. And now same thing for services. And now you want to look for something that says NLASVC. Should be a capital N out front. So shouldn't have to go down too far, but right here. So NLASVC. And now you want to expand that. Expand the parameters folder underneath of that. And there should be an internet folder. So just go ahead and left click on that. Now if we expand the column over here on the right side, there should be something that says enable active probing. You want to go ahead and double click on that. So by default, the value is set to one. So just keep that in mind. This is the only thing we're going to be changing here. So if for some reason something goes wrong, you want to go back to how it was, you can change it back to one. You could restore the registry. So giving you guys two different options there. Honestly, this is the only thing we're changing. So the default value is one. We're going to go ahead and change it to a zero for the purpose of this tutorial of how to turn it off. And then we're going to go select OK. So there's one more thing we're going to change here. But again, it's very simple to just change it back as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out of here. So what we're going to do now is go back to the top. We're going to collapse all of these folders and we're going to still go underneath HK local machine like we did before. But now we're going to go underneath software. So go ahead and double click on that. Now there's going to be a policies folder. Double click on that. Microsoft, double click. Windows, you want to double click on that as well. And then network connectivity status indicator right here. Just left click on that one time, right click on the panel here in a blank area, select new, select the DWORD 32 bit value. You want to type in it exactly as it appears on my screen, so no active probe. The first letter in each word should be capitalized and then hit enter. This is if you don't see one here, as in my case, but if you do, you just want to go ahead and double click on it. And now you want to go set the value data here to 1. So by default, it's 0. So it's the reverse of what the other D word value was. And we're going to go change this one to the number 1. Select OK. Please note, I usually mention this as well, but if you need to pause the video and take note of the file path up at the top of the screen that we went under, you can. Same was shown for the other D word value that we modified. So we actually created this one, but the other one was modified. And you can take note of the file path up at the top of the registry editor here. So if you need to rewatch the video, pause it, you can clearly see each backslash is a different folder we have expanded to get to this resolution. So pretty straightforward process here guys restart your computer and that should hopefully be about it so as always thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial I do hope I was able to help you out and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial goodbye